Hamilton firefighters honoring Patrick Walterman by sharing stories of their fallen brother. They say that he was a man of integrity, a dedicated firefighter who also knew how to make his crew laugh. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson live for us tonight in Hamilton. And Karen, I know you talked with Walterman's brothers, but let's start with the investigation tonight. Anything new there? Well, Cherie, I can tell you, fire investigators, police, the ATF, they've been back at this house all day. This is the home on Peter Avenue where Patrick Walterman fell through the first floor. He died later at the hospital. I'm told this investigation could take months. Meanwhile, back at the firehouses, brothers are remembering Walterman for the funny, dedicated firefighter he was. For me, I mean, it's, it's just an emptiness. A loss of a brother. It is gut-wrenching. It's... Un unexplainable. Yet the work of a firefighter must continue. Through the sadness felt at Station 25 and among all Hamilton firefighters today, memories and stories of Patrick Walterman brought a few laughs. <laughs> Probably nothing that we can tell you. Some inside jokes better kept within the brotherhood, but Walterman was the reason for many smiles. He would stay out of the fray a lot, but he would like pick his moments and then like throw in like this great zinger that nobody saw coming and it was just it was always like perfect timing. From the day Walterman was hired on at Hamilton in April, Lieutenant Dave Holtzberger and firefighter Jason Callahan knew they had a good one. When he uh, would set his alarm just a little bit early to get out of bed so he could beat me to the dishwasher, just little things like that that uh, they just made him a special dude, a special guy. It was impossible to treat him as a rookie. Having previously worked at Coleraine and Fairfield Township, Walterman was one step ahead of the rookie game. He came right in and just like he, like he had been there for 10 years. And it was, he was home. It was great. A dedicated firefighter. On EMS runs, he was phenomenal. And in stressful situations like the recent Beckett paper mill fire, Walterman was the one his brothers turned to. I look back and Pat was calm and had a calming effect on me. I would have never told Pat that, uh, but uh, he did. And we got there and he was amazing. And a cause has not yet been determined. Tonight, the house is boarded up. No trespassing signs posted. Walterman will be laid to rest on Thursday. Cincinnati firefighters will be manning the Hamilton firehouses so the Hamilton brothers could attend the funeral. Reporting live tonight in Hamilton, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right, Karen, thank you. And we thank those firefighters for sharing such special moments with us today as well. Now, the Hamilton Fire Department also releasing Walterman's personal file to us, giving us just a little bit more background on his career before joining the Hamilton Fire Department. He worked at the Fairfield and Coleraine Township Fire Departments. It includes recommendations, too, from the Coleraine Department, which describes him as calm and composed under stress and someone who gets along with everyone and helps train new hires. WLWT News Watch John London sits down with some of his former co workers who share more about their time with Walterman coming up for you new tonight at 5 30 as well as 6 o'clock. Patrick Walterman's family is going to be holding that private funeral mass. To Tomorrow, and then a public memorial service starts at 9:30 on Thursday morning at Princeton Pike Church of God in Hamilton, followed by that private service at Spring Grove Cemetery. We are going to cover that public service live for you, of course, Saturday or excuse me, Thursday morning. The details about the funeral procession uh, were just released this afternoon for any of you maybe looking to honor firefighter Walterman this coming Thursday. So we now know the procession is going to leave Princeton. Pike Church of God right around 1030 Thursday morning and then head west along Millican Road. The procession then continues south on Route 4 past Station 25 where he worked and then on Divine Street before turning into Spring Grove Cemetery for that private burial service. For the very latest in the fire investigation, tributes to firefighter Patrick Walterman and more on funeral plans, you can download our WLWT mobile app or go to WLWT.com anytime.